to the array. The memory of a computer is linear, so to store the value of elements in the form of rows and columns, a two-dimensional array is used, just as in case of a matrix. As one-dimensional array has index to access its elements, same is the case with two-dimensional arrays. But here, we have two indexes, one for rows and one for columns. Declaration of 2D Array It starts with the data type of the elements followed by the name of array and the number of rows and columns in the array. Data type array Name X, Y where x and y are positive integers and x represent rows and y represent columns. The array size is equal to first index multiplied by second index equal to x multiplied by y. Look at the following 2D array declaration. Care name 610 here we have two indexes. Normally, the two indexes refer to the rows and columns. That is, the 6 refers to rows and 10 refers to columns. If we assign initial string values for the 2D array, it will look something like following. Program to access 2D array elements. Here, an array A of size 2 cross 3 having 6 elements is declared. Then, two variables i and j of integer type are created. For loops are used to access the various elements of the array, and in this program, it assigns value 0 to all the elements of array 1 by 1. As soon as the array is declared, computer creates an array named A. Size of the array is 6, that is 2 cross 3, as indicated in the brackets. Six contiguous memory boxes are created. The array index starts at 0, 0, for i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 0 in step 1 and step 2. So the first array element is a00 and it gets value 0 in step 3. So the control passes over to for loop in step 2 and value of j is equal to 1 and i is equal to 0. And the second element a01 is assigned value 0 from step 3. And the process goes on. Value of j is equal to 2 and i is equal to 0. And the third element, A02, is assigned value 0 from step 3. Now, the control passes to the for loop of step 1. And, value of i is equal to 1. And in step 2, j is again initialized to 0. And the fourth element, A10, is assigned value 0 from step 3. Value of j is equal to 1 and i is equal to 1. And the fifth element a11 is assigned value 0 from step 3. 
value of j is equal to 2 and i is equal to 1. And the sixth element, a12, is assigned value 0 from step 3. Again, the control passes to the for loop of step 1 and value of i becomes 2, which does not go with the given condition in the for loop of step 1 and thus exits the loop and the program ends.